this is a great opportunity. Hastings College is a special place. I kind of joked uh, with the players in the interview process. I was here a long, long time ago, longer than I can remember, but I think it was about 25 years. Uh, and it was exciting for me this morning to see people that had helped me in the process of becoming an educator, Dr. Locke, um, Mr. Dorr. Are you Dr. Dorr? you got to be Dr. Dorr, don't you? Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, and so it, it really it's a special place, and it's a people place. You get connected to people here, uh, people that have done a lot for you, and you just want to give back. Uh, Coach Trader's here today. He's obviously my high school coach and my college coach, and I can't say enough about him and the things that I learned from him. Uh, but I just see Hastings as a special place, excited about working with the players, uh, and we want to be great. You know, that's one thing in the interview process when they ask questions. Uh, we want greatness. We want to compete. We want to compete for championships. And having said that, fully understand it's difficult. There's nothing easy about being great, uh, but it's something that you got to work at. Players got to work at. The college has to work out. Obviously, the coaching staff has to work at. So we're looking forward to that process. Um, today's a great day. Uh, it's also a tough day. There's, there's two sides to every coin. Uh, I met with my players at Central Catholic this morning. Uh, that was a difficult process, an emotional process. Uh, but then there's this side of the coin, uh, the joyous part of it. So uh, when you get connected to people, when you're somewhere, you know, I was at Central Catholic 22 years, uh, and hopefully I'll be here that long here, uh, and things will go very well. Uh, so I guess without further ado, I'll just uh, open it up to questions, um, if anybody has questions. Bill, how will you adjust to coaching college athletes now after so many years coaching high school athletes, and maybe you can just talk about the degree of difficulty it will be for you as a head coach to make that adjustment. Well, I think there's a lot of things that you just don't know about. Uh, obviously, if you just look at the game itself, there's a shot clock. In high school, we didn't have a shot clock. Uh, Mike Will probably called a few games where we held the ball when we had a six-point lead with two minutes left, and you're not going to be able to do that at the collegiate level. Um, uh, obviously, the length of the game, 40 minutes, uh, is different than a high school game of 32 minutes. Uh, you got travel concerns. You've got to be able to physically and mentally be ready to compete every day. You're on the road. Uh, you may have short turnarounds. Uh, you just got to be ready, ready to handle adversity. Uh, but I think that's kind of life. You've got to handle adversity in, in your life, and you've got to handle adversity as an athlete, a coach, and a player. So uh, we're looking forward to the challenge of making the transition from high school to college. Will you bring your offensive and defensive philosophy that you had at Central Catholic to Hastings College? Are we, we going to be in store for 10-7 to seven halftime games? Or? <laughs> Well, I like to put the ball in the hoop a little more than that, but uh, uh, sometimes that's the way it rolls, you know, in sports. Uh, yeah, you know, we're going to look at our personnel. First thing we're going to do is we're going to study our personnel, figure out what we've got. Uh, I think as a coach, you always look at your personnel and you figure out what's going to work for that particular team. But the general philosophy, yeah, we're, we want to guard people. We want to be able to lock down. We want to be able to defend. Uh, the reason for that is, you know, if you score seven and a half and you give up ten, you still got an opportunity to be in the game. Um, obviously, at the collegiate level, if we score seven and a half, then we'll be looking for a new offensive coordinator. Um, so uh, there's there's just challenges, and you look at your personnel, but you look forward to the opportunity and to challenging people to greatness. You as, a, you as a player here before, did you always anticipate maybe someday you would come back here as a, a head coach of the basketball team? Yeah, I think it's always been a vision and a dream of mine to come back to Hastings College and, and have the opportunity uh, to lead the program. Uh, there's been a lot of great leaders of the program. You know, Doc Farrell, uh, when I first got here, was my first coach, then Coach Trader. You know, and Coach Creech just got done giving 11 years of his life to make the program good. So, uh, yeah, it's a special place. Uh, it, you know, there's a lot of correlations between my high school that I'm at right now teaching and Hastings College. People, places, you get connected to people, and it's a special place, and it stays close to your heart. Well, I think the first priority is obviously you want to get to know your players. Uh, so today I have an opportunity to meet with some of the players on an individual basis. You want to get to know them as young men, know what their career paths are, uh, what their visions are. Um, yeah, I've, I'm still under teaching contract, obviously, at Central Catholic through the end of May. Uh, but the recruiting process will begin immediately. I think that's something that you've got to look at. You've got to analyze your personnel and your needs. And you've got to get on that right away. So, but that, that we're looking forward to that. That's a great challenge and something that we're looking forward to doing. Obviously, you've been around. You know the the Jeep pack and everything. Uh, just talk about competing uh, weekend and week out in the Jeep pack. It used to be the NIAC. 
right? Way back in the day. Uh, now it's the GPAC, so it's spread out a little bit more. There's more travel involved. Uh, you know, I looked this year. Uh, Dort never lost a game at home. Northwestern lost one game at home until the GPAC semifinals. Uh, so there's obviously some great teams. Doan's on the rise. Um, so, But we, we want to look forward to being in that upper echelon of the conference, and, and that's going to be a challenge. Uh, nothing great accomplished is ever easy, and you've got to put a lot of work into it, a lot of sweat equity, but that's, that's a challenge we're looking forward to. Uh, uh, we obviously need the community behind us. We need fan support. We need to make this place a very difficult place to come into and win. And I think to have that, you've got to have uh, crowds on a consistent basis that are behind you, uh, that are behind the program. And I know Hastings is a great community and follows uh, the college quite well. So uh, then you've got to be tough on the road. Uh, you can't let little things bother you on the road. You've got to respond to adversity, uh, whether, you, whether it's a call that doesn't go your way or something happens. Uh, you've got to rise to the occasion, rise to the challenge, and that's what you're always looking to do. Bill, is uh, this maybe the only job you would have left? Uh, this is certainly uh, a great job. This is, uh, yeah, I think that, that goes without saying. I've been at Central Catholic 22 years, and uh, this opportunity was, was something that obviously uh, wanted to do, and, and again, just looking forward to it and, and getting after it. When, when the call came from Jerry, did you have to think twice about this thing? or? Uh, you know, always I think when you make decisions, you look at pros and cons, but it was not a, a difficult decision. This is a great place to be um, for the reasons that, that I've mentioned before and, and just a lot of great people here and, and people that want to do it the right way. And I think that's so important, you know, when you're looking at, at, at getting to a championship level, people that want to do it the right way. Uh, you know, I know President Jackson, um, in talking to him, is on board and, and wants greatness, and Coach Schmutty wants greatness. So that's, again, something to look forward to. And to be a part of. Could you give us a sense of what the conversation was like with, when you told Mr. Schumann and, and the ball players? Uh, I'm, I guess what I'm saying, I'm sure that this was not unexpected from their standpoint. It seems to me they probably anticipated this. Uh, what's your thoughts on how that went? I think it's difficult to look into young men's eyes, and you know, you see the emotion on their faces, uh, you see the tears in some of their eyes. Um, so that's never, never an easy process. Uh, Mr. Schumann's a special person to me. He's been my athletic director for 22 years. Uh, so to tell him, you know, it was a real difficult thing. But, but in life you have challenges and you move on. I think, I think they'll understand. I think the players, the young men, it may take a little time, you know, for them to understand that. Uh, Mr. Schumann uh, has been at Central Catholic for more years than I know. Uh, so he obviously has dealt with change quite a bit. So, uh, you know, it's a tough thing. But, again, I think people understand and people know that there's challenges ahead. Coach, do you think you're more ready for this than people would think? I mean, some would say you run your program at GICC like, like a college program. I think, you know, anytime you look at that, people will have various opinions. I think the main thing is to focus on what you need to do to help the players here be successful. Uh, they're the priority. You need to focus on them and, and the program and what needs to be done. Um, there's probably a few people that think we have run, you know, our high school program like a college program. Uh, there's no question we're, we're very demanding, but if you're going to be excellent, you've, you've got to have people that are demanding around you. You have to get out of your comfort zone, so to speak, uh, in order to achieve greatness. Um, you know, we have a little saying, it's easy to be good, it's hard to be great, uh, because it takes that extra uh, things that need to be done by a lot of people. You cannot be successful with just one person working. There has to be a totality of people involved in the process in order for you to be successful. Coach, if there's one thing you'd want people in the Hastings community to know about you, obviously you're well known in high school, but if you wanted them to know one thing about you right now, what would it be? Uh, that there's a passion level, uh, that there's a, a strong drive for excellence and, and greatness, and, and that's what fuels you every day when you get up in the morning, knowing that, hey, there's things that need to be done, and you want to get after it all the way all from the practice floor, the desire to be at practice, the enthusiasm to be at practice, uh, to recruiting, uh, to relationships with students, uh, students that don't play for you, you know, just meeting people on campus and getting to know them. And that's one thing I, I enjoyed in high school a lot, um, just the students that I didn't even teach, that I didn't coach as athletes, but I got to meet them, got to know them, and develop relationships with them as well. I think that's really important uh, to people, and it is to me certainly. After being 
considered for this job the first time around? I guess was the process a little different this time at home? Uh, no, I think, you know, you, you, you obviously you interview. Uh, this time, you know, the players uh, interviewed me as well. And uh, Dylan over there, you did a great job. Uh, uh, he was the question guy uh, and, and wrote down a lot of stuff, took notes, by the way. And I thought the players were outstanding in the interview process. Uh, they asked uh, good questions. Um, so, no, it, it was very similar. It was a very similar process. There were a few tweaks, a few differences, um, but basically the same. Your observations about the roster now that will be inherited. Uh, matter of fact, I just talked to Coach Creech before coming in here, and uh, you know, thanked him that there's a lot of pieces in place uh, to that road to greatness. Um, and I think you know, just just getting a feel when the players were interviewing, I think there's a strong desire on their part to get to a championship level. You've got seniors coming back uh, that that want to compete in the national tournament, and again. You know, I'm not sitting up here telling you that's going to be easy because that's going to be difficult. There's going to take a lot of work on a lot of people's part to get to that. Um, so, again, I think it's the pieces are there, uh, but now sweat equity has to happen. We've got to work on a daily basis. We've got to be committed. When the players go home for the summer, it's got to be on their minds, and it's got to drive them every day to get out and work to get to that level.